Hello and welcome to the Penguin Prof channel. Today I want to give you a tour of my new home studio, office, filming, teaching, everything happens in this room now. Um, I've got some new gear to share and uh, hopefully there'll be some inspiration and some ideas for you and hopefully you find it helpful. If you do, uh, please slam some of those buttons below. Really helps me out and let's get into it. Okay, what inspired all of this was uh, some new gear from Fully. So thank you to the folks at Fully for setting me up. This is not a sponsored video, but standing desk, mat, chairs, all from Fully. This is the Jarvis 60 by 30. I picked a white laminate with silver feet and uh, legs. They have lots of different options available. Um, you can get powered grommets, you can get uh, lots of accessories. And all I have up here is my 27 inch iMac with a magic mouse, magic keyboard, and magic trackpad because you just can't have too much magic, I guess. Um, so this works really well. The speakers are from Audio Engine. They are the A2 Plus. They are spectacular. I was really in need of some upgrades there. Uh, the last set of speakers I had, Fabio picked up off the side of the road. That was about 10 years ago. So I was due for a speaker upgrade. Um, what you do, there's a little control panel over here and you can have presets. So this is my preset for standing height and I have a preset for sitting down at a normal seated height. You push a button and it's just like magic. It moves, it's quiet, it's smooth, it's fantastic. And then I can adjust my chair and sit like a normal person. But in truth, I spend most of my time standing. Isn't it just so magical? I just love it. So um, usually when I am filming, uh, teaching, at meetings, uh, I am standing. But sometimes you gotta sit down. So we have the Capisco chair. The Capisco chair is an interesting name because in Italian, Capisco means I know, from the verb capire. So I know, this is an awesome chair. So this adjusts all the way up so that you can sit at a standing height if you prefer, and of course, it can lower to a regular seated height. This chair, interestingly enough, inspires you to keep moving all the time. So there are many different ways that you can sit on it. I find it really comfortable to sit sideways, and you can even sit backwards, although I don't really recommend it in a dress. It's a very strange looking chair, but I have to say the build quality is amazing. It's got about a million things that you can adjust to meet your own body type. All right, so next I'm gonna show you uh, my storage and some of the gear that I use that I think you'll be interested in. I have Alex drawers, which everyone on the earth owns, so I'll take you through those. First drawer, basic supplies, my favorite pens, some post-its, and coasters to protect that desk. Second drawer is mostly cables, some rulers, stapler. This is my staple-less stapler from Japan, so you can staple those pages together without actual staples. The next drawer is audio gear. This box contains all of the lavalier microphones. They are all from Rode and Movo. This contains all of the connectors that come with the Apogee Hypermic condenser microphone. Cables for the Blue Yeti microphone. Cables to connect lavalier microphones to the camera. Connectors and extenders. An Audio-Technica lavalier microphone, a Samson Go mic, and extender cables. This is a Rode Lav headset for those TED Talk type talks. The third drawer contains mostly stuff for travel. These are portable power banks. I mainly use banks from Anchor. When I just need extra power for a phone, I bring this little guy, which kind of looks like a lipstick. It's cute. It's pink. This looks like a really, really old phone, but this is actually a Wi-Fi from G Local Me. It's a virtual SIM card, and you, you prepay your data plan depending on the country that you're in and uh, this has literally saved us. And the bottom drawer is just for files. And here we've got some decor, charging station, and storage. I call this the juice bar where everything charges. I've got a little dot here, a wireless charger, charger for camera batteries. Somewhere I've got my GoPro charger cable and then chargers for iPads live there. This drawer used to be for my daily carry, my backpack and all my gear to go to work was in here. Um, I bike to work, but we haven't been to work in months, so yeah. The next drawer has some um, basic stationary supplies, not very interesting. All right, next I've got a container which holds uh, all the SD cards, uh, screen cleaners. This container down here holds my 360 camera, which is a Rilo camera. 
I can pull all this out. These are audio foam blocks and I can set these up very quickly when I need to get really high quality audio. Down here is where I keep tripods. I've got a tabletop tripod, the tripod that this camera is on right now. Um, and then I keep my lights and behind these I've got the power cables for those guys. In this bin I have a couple of the microphones. You saw the cables earlier. I have the Blue Yeti microphone. This is my favorite condenser microphone. This one is by Apogee and it comes with a little pop filter. This thing is amazing. This is the Hyper Mic. Got an iPad stand. This box is a mess and contains my Hero 7 Black and lots of accessories, including the scuba suit. All right, let's look inside the camera box. All right, some of you wanted all the details on the gear and some of you wanted to see the setup, so how about we do both? <laughs> I'm shooting on a Canon M50. It's a mirrorless camera with a fully articulating screen. I have also got some EFS lenses which require an adapter. That's a 50 millimeter lens and this is a 10 to 18 millimeter lens. Now the rest of the lenses like this one, 18 to 150, those are for mirrorless. That's the 15 to 45 kit lens. This is the 32 millimeter prime lens. This is a 28 millimeter macro lens with an LED light which is awesome. I love it. And this is an 18 to 22 wide angle. I've also got a Hero 7 Black and a Rode VideoMic Go. This is a Rode VideoMic Pro. I've got some miscellaneous covers, some batteries in that box. This is of course a webcam, a Gorillapod, and a Manfrotto mini tripod. Now what you're seeing is the rest of my setup here. The actual time this takes is about 20 to 25 minutes. These are the newer lights I showed you when they were in their boxes. I'm suddenly dressed and then we have the connection between the camera and the iPad using the Canon Connect app. So that allows me to use the iPad as a monitor. And we're good to go. That's it. I hope you found this helpful, inspiring, just enjoyed the snoop. Um, as always, thank you so much for visiting the Penguin Prof channel. Please slam some buttons below, like, share, subscribe, the bell, you know the drill. Hope everybody stays safe, stays home. Take care. Bye-bye.